Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 2. Today we're going to be talking about the new photos that have been released. So it teases Superboy. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is crazy. We just got new set photos from Canada Graphs, whose blog and Twitter will be linked in the description below. There is lots more photos, I'm only going to be showing a couple of them in this video, and we're going to be breaking them down, so please be sure to go over there to get the full detail. But basically, yesterday night, it seems, they were in Vancouver. So, most of you guys know, Superman Lois doesn't film in central Vancouver, they film way out of the city, and they have like a whole Smallville set. And so that's why you don't get many set photos, because it's closed off. It is pretty secure. Every once in a while, apparently, according to Canada Graphs, they do come into the city, and we get photos like this, where they're out in the open, because they use the city as a metropolis normally, and if they're doing anything that is Smallville, they'll keep it on their main controlled set because it's just much easier and, and they don't have to come into the main center. But that's not the case for the other shows, that's why you always see The Flash getting photos taken of them and all the other shows because they don't have that huge set that Superman Lois does. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and break down these photos because we get a first look at Jonathan or a version of Jonathan as Superboy. The suit that he's wearing in this shot, which you can see, is very similar to Connell, and Connell is a version of Superboy in the comics, whose trousers are very similar to the ones that Jonathan is wearing in this photo, because he's wearing like just bright red trousers, and yes, his chest area isn't blue. This is similar to Titans, and probably a bit more similar to Young Justice, in the fact that he's got like a black t-shirt on. It's a t-shirt after all, with a House of El symbol on, and because he's out here in public, apparently this is the first time that Jordan, the actor who plays Jonathan, which is kind of confusing that he's actually called Jordan, was out in the streets in Vancouver, because normally he's just in the Smallville set, he hasn't had to do any of this stuff, and like, this is Metropolis, they are filming Metropolis right here, they're not filming Smallville, so something is going on, and I have a lot of theories about what actually is going on, and I feel pretty confident about it, so please be sure to stick around, because I think I know what's happening with this version of Jonathan. And I'm going to reveal it in a minute, but let's just talk about the suit first. So, why does Jonathan have powers? So recently we saw him with X Kryptonite, and he was able to tap into his Kryptonian powers for one of the first times. And obviously before then he wasn't able to, unlike Jordan, his brother, despite having Kryptonian DNA within inside of him, you can presume it's dormant right now and something like the X Kryptonite could kick off his powers. So initially when seeing this photo, people were like, oh yeah, you know, this is him on X Kryptonite, and he's just become like a prototype version of Superboy straight away, and that's why he's out here fighting with Superman. However, I think it's way too early on, and they're fighting against robbers. I really don't think Superman would trust Jonathan doing this, especially since Jordan is actually the one who's much more trained, and has better control of his powers, so I don't think he would allow our version of Jonathan to do this. But overall, what do I think of the suit? Well, it's clearly a prototype. It's very much so a bit punk rock. He's got, you know, eyeliner on, and he's wearing a leather jacket, and that leather jacket is similar to con -El, and that's why I'm pretty sure he is going to be con -El in this version. I don't think he is Jonathan, or maybe they changed his name a little bit. However, the red trousers do pop out, and you know, the belt looks kind of punk rocky again, a bit gothic, and the boots he wears are definitely bold. And it's not a proper superhero suit, a proper superhero suit would be made similar to Superman's, and it would have that kind of padding, it would look a bit different. This looks more like the Connell suit, where, you know, it's kind of made on the spot, and it's an early iteration, and later he would get like an upgraded version that would be similar to this, but, you know, better looking essentially. So, let's move on to the next photo. And so we have a photo of Superman and Superboy standing side by side, and 
I think this looks really cool. I got very excited when I saw this. And so they are teaming up seemingly for the first time in the middle of Metropolis. They do actually look pretty cool teaming up side by side. We've never properly seen this before. We have another photo here just behind the scenes. Obviously the guys in the background aren't in the shot because they're all masked up and the camera is pointing this way, you can see it behind Jonathan. But if we focus over to Superman, to Tyler Hoechlin, well, you see in this photo, it looks pretty much the same, like his suit is looking normal. There is nothing suspicious about it. However, if we move on to the next photo, and I think this gives away all, so he is here standing with Jordan, obviously the actor, and they are in the middle of shooting and you can see behind him is Superman's cape. And Superman's cape is absolutely shredded. It is terrible. And it looks exactly like none other than Bizarro's cape. So, here comes my big theory and I'm pretty sure this is actually what's going on. I don't think this is our version of Jonathan. I don't think this is our version of Superman. I believe this is in fact Bizarro. And this is a flashback. So I believe Bizarro wasn't created in some lab. I think he was actually on another Earth and this is what we're seeing. We're seeing another Earth, we're seeing a flashback to him as Superman on his Earth. And at one point his cape got tattered and torn and became like that. And he actually had a version of Superboy who would team up with him. And I think that version of Superboy maybe could exist still, but as far as we know, he's gone. and. Whatever happened to Bizarro happened to Bizarro and he became the way that he is and so I believe what we're seeing right here We're seeing Bizarro world. This is a world that is backwards and that's why he has the way that he is speaking Bizarro world in the comics is essentially like a flip of our normal world and we've had mention of you know, concepts to do with Bizarro world and we've been theorizing like where did this version of Bizarro come from and I would really like if this is the case, and I'm like 99% sure this is the case, that this version of Bizarro wasn't created in some lab. In fact, he was warped and twisted by maybe Crisis on Infinite Earths when he came to our Earth. And somehow, because his world, everything was backwards and he spoke backwards, everyone else around him spoke backwards, that's why he speaks like that. I don't know why his appearance got so decrepit, but maybe being stuck underneath the mines for that long, maybe inhaling all of the ex kryptonite is the reason for his current kind of disturbing looks. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think it is true? I'm nearly 100% sure and I'm not normally that confident when theorizing, but the fact that we're seeing this sudden change with supposedly Jonathan becoming Superboy completely out of the blue since he just started X Kryptonite. I really don't think our version of Superman would trust Jonathan to go out in the field considering that he barely trusts Jordan to do anything and there's going to be a huge backlash when our version of Superman and Lois find out that Jonathan has been taking X Kryptonite. I don't think he's going to be like yeah, come fight with me, like, take as much X Kryptonite as you want, and maybe it's going to give you your natural powers finally. So let's go to Metropolis. No, well, most of our time is spent in Smallville, and I believe Superman's pretty much going to stay in Smallville for most of the season. Obviously, once in a while, he does bop back to Metropolis, but this is a Superman who is based in Metropolis, and this is their turf. You can see by the confidence that Jonathan exudes, and our Jonathan wouldn't have this confidence as well. So it's the fact that these people have probably been doing this for a while. And this bizarro version of Superman was very interestingly a normal version of Superman on potentially bizarro world where things were flipped. However, it should be noted that his suit emblem isn't flipped. So I wonder at what point bizarro flipped his emblem or is it the fact that he is on Bizarro World, and things look normal when you're on Bizarro World. However, when you travel over to somewhere like Earth Prime, everything flips. So Bizarro just naturally flips, and he's the complete opposite of our version of Superman, and he's not used to the environment, and so that's why his emblem has flipped. And so I get why lots of people didn't kind of suspect this. Based on his looks, this doesn't look like Bizarro. However, if you look at the cape, 
and you realize how weird it is that Jonathan is out as Superboy so early on, it makes sense that this is an alternate reality and this is probably Bizarro World and we're probably going back in the past, getting a flashback to when they were actually a team on their earth and this is probably a bizarro origin episode so i'm really looking forward to all of this what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below are you excited for superman lois to return it is returning later this week i can't wait next tuesday and also the flash is coming back pretty soon but in regards to superman lois we actually won't have to wait that long until this episode because they f take a long time to film and i'm pretty sure this is like five to six episodes from where we're at right now and obviously we're going into episode five so very excited to see what is to come and what is next and this definitely piques my interest a hell of a lot so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment really helps out the channel also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye